Hello you beauties, it's so good to see you again. Hey, we're gonna talk bridge again today, okay with you? Good, hang in there, it's gonna be fun, entertaining and sometimes mind-boggling. Okay, as usual, please note I'm not an expert, I definitely do not know it all. However, it does not stop me from asking you for a thumbs up. If you do enjoy my tutorials and uh, it's free. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Click that sucker. Okay? Sit back, relax and enjoy your cup of tea. Okay, so we're in a hand right now. And you and I are both sitting north. Okay, so north is um, going to be defending. Okay, so let's go through the bidding very quickly. And while I fast forward the hand until the end of the bidding, I'd like to think about what lead would you make from the north end, okay? Do you remember the basics? You lead the fourth highest from your longest suit. Okay, so the three of hearts led. Okay, so partner now plays the jack. Okay, okay, and declare ducks. So that's what inference can we make at this stage? That partner probably likes it, correct? Okay, what do you do now? Okay, this is very important. Think about this for a second. The partner played the ten or the jack and then the eight was returned okay uh, think about it and I'll explain a little later um, so what card are you gonna play at this stage did you correctly play the ten of hearts or do you think that Ten of Hearts might be the right player? Well, I'll tell you why. Because if partner has five hearts, he's going to return the fourth highest. Okay? And obviously, from the lead, it looked like Declarer had a problem. Alright? You knew that partner had the Queen, right? Because the Jack held. And who is the Queen? If, if Declarer had the queen the queen would have been played so partner must have the queen and why would uh, partner then play the eight of hearts the partner would play the fourth highest to let you know that you got to play your highest from your hand and return the smallest so you do not block the suit you see how important this is okay let's continue from here Okay, here's another question. If you have four and you know that partner now has five and he's at one, how many hearts would that make? So let's count that quickly. Four in your hand, one in East's hand, it makes it five. Partner has five and declared it now must have three. Okay, he's played one already, he's playing the seven now and how many must he have left? Obviously just one more. Okay, so we now deduced that Declarer has the Ace of Hearts. Alright, so that confirms that Partner has five hearts. Oh, 
Okay, the clever now plays a seven of clubs, and you notice that King Jack is in his hand. Now, you're gonna play low because partner could have the queen, correct? Okay, so the clatter goes up with the king and dummy, and let's see what happens from here, alright? Sit back and see what happens. Can you see what's really happening? Your partner is so squeezed. Partner has to keep two hearts, correct? And what happens now with the spades? Partner has no more spades. Oh, we made a rookie mistake. My brother calls it a flapjack mistake. He taught me how to play the game of bridge, and this is really a flapjack mistake. We should have went up with the ace of clubs immediately the club was played. Opposition only had eight tricks, and now they ended up with ten? That's amazing. How could we have allowed them to do that? We should have taken our five tricks. This is how it should have went. The three of hearts led. Okay, five played. Partner plays the jack. Declare a ducks. You got a fantastic clue. You know that Declare does not have the queen. What does partner do now? Returns the 8. There's another clue. Try and work that out. The 8. And if you take 11 from 8, there's only 3 cards higher, right? Because of the law of 11. So partner should only have, you have 2. Partner has only 1 card higher than 8. That is a good clue. So, you know that your partner has got five. If there was five in in your partner's hand, four in your hand, one in his hand, declare must have three. Yeah, you have to go up with your big cards because if you do keep a big card in your hand, you're gonna be and played. That's correct. You're gonna end up with your hand being the last heart in your hand and you will not be able to get to your partner. So this is what you need to do is unblock the hand. All right, so take over, take over with the 10. <coughs> Declare a place the eight of clubs, can't play the diamonds because diamonds is a running suit for them. Now you gotta play the king, so that's so important. You got to play the king. If you do not play the king, 
Assuming you played the six, the king's going to be in your hand, right? The ace is played here. Yeah. So you're only going to have the king left in your hand. But now you have the six because you unblocked. That is important, okay? That is very important. Think about that. All right. So this is the crux of where the problem went wrong and that gave opposition a chance to make 10 tricks. All right, you have to go up with the ace of clubs. There's absolutely no reason, okay, flapjack, <laughs> to play anything, anything other than the ace of clubs, all right? And you return the six of hearts almost quicker than you put down the ace of clubs. All right, and partner then obviously goes up with the queen and plays the nine for one down. That's your setting trick, flapjack. That's your setting trick. <laughs> oh, I love that word, flapjack. Never loved it, and my brother called me that. Oh yeah, I was uh, the flapjack um, master <laughs> and I was teased, especially on a Sunday uh, during lunchtime at a family uh, dinner. Uh, all my brothers and uh, the whole family was there and it was so embarrassing. I had to learn very, very fast to get rid of that, uh, that label, flapjack. I hope we learned something today and uh, yeah come on give me a thumbs up just click that sucker all right catch you on the next one bye bye